In this tutorial we're going to look at how to install WinRAR and use that tool to zip and unzip our files such as from downloading from the online platform. First thing we need to do is go to the website called WinRAR. Now if I type that into Google should come up in the top hit WinRARLab.com download. From here we can choose the version that we want. Now in this scenario I'm going to install the Windows version 32-bit. So I'll click that top link and again you'll see it will automatically start downloading to my documents folder. So I click this little option here show in folder and you can see there's the previous file from this morning uh, earlier lesson where we downloaded my account right. This time I have one called WRAR501 don't be too concerned if that version changes. You know, throughout the year they're often updating and releasing different versions. To install uh, WinRAR, we double click on that downloaded file and it'll warn me here, and I'll say yes to run it and then click install. I'll accept all the default options, and the main one being that it's going to work with zip files. Uh, again, I have Zone Alarm on my computer, it's just warning me there and finally I hit done. Again I have another warning here that uh, this is a 32-bit version. My computer happens to be 64-bit but it will still work fine on this version. So we'll OK that and the program is installed. I'll close these windows. Once we've installed WinRAR we can then zip and unzip files. Now I've logged into our online learning platform Certificate 4 in Bookkeeping and I've gone to the unit FNS BKG 404A and so what we're going to do is we're going to start by downloading a file. So under Student Activities I have here a GST and BAS file so I'll click that link and in Chrome it automatically downloads it uh, otherwise you need to save it into your JoBlog folder. Once it's downloaded I click this drop down Show in Folder and here we can see the file GST and BAS files. Now it's in my download so I'm going to right click and I'm going to move it so I'll choose cut, go to my C drive, I'll go to the cert for Joe blog folder, the 404A unit and then I'll right click and choose paste. Now that's pasted that zip file into that 404A folder. To then unzip it I don't want to double click, I want to right click and I want to choose Extract Files. Again I can see the path, Extract, under Advanced, I'll just check that it's going to extract what are called relative paths. So if there's subfolders in that file it will create those subfolders. Hit OK and very quickly it's unzipped those files. Let's go in there and you can see there's a subfolder and here's some PDFs for the course. So there we have uh, unzipped a folder using WinRAR. Now to compress or zip a fol file or folders, fairly straightforward with WinRAR, we simply need to be in the folder, so I'll stay in this GST bass. And if I wanted to zip up just one file, um, let's say this Excel file here, we can see it's 29KB, I right click and I choose uh, compress. Now what I'll do, rather than choose compress, I'll choose add to archive and I'm going to use the zip format. And we can see here it's given it an archive name and I hit OK. And underneath you can see it's now quite smaller than the bigger one. I mean you wouldn't normally, that file's so small anyway. No need to zip it. But you can see there it's created a zip file. I'll just delete that by hitting delete. Send that to the bin. If I want to compress a whole folder, so let's say that you have in the 404A GST, this is all your answers, all, all these files are all part of the answers, so that you want to submit as an assessment. Okay, so there might be your printouts, your MARB files. To send a whole folder, we right click on the folder, add to archive, choose zip, and hit OK. And you can see here now that's come out at 3000 KB, so about 3 megabytes. So I would be able to email that folder 
be careful when you're compressing whole folders sometimes there can be too many files and it will end up more than say 10 megabytes and you may not be able to email it so you'll have to individually or choose a few files and zip them up one by one